welcome back to another uh, Dragon of Sorceress gameplay part 76. I'm RobotGZ. Uh, last time, uh, I continued the Sorceress story uh, by doing a dungeon. Uh, talking to a lot of NPCs and uh, getting new equipment. So uh, let's continue. What the heck is this? Oh. Oh, well, okay, so, I think why that's there is because my main character's at the max level, so. Alright, so, Awakening Quest, uh Welcome, adventurer. You're always working too hard, I know, right? Recently, I could faintly see a sense of a power in Mistland. Though the power does not originally belong to Mistland, it has con conformed to the environment and has changed. Though it has changed, it is still fundamentally different from Mistland, like oil and water. So it cannot mix into either side and is lost. That energy is calling you, Robot GZ. E. Yes. We don't, why don't you head over to Mistland and check on it? I'll go and take a look. Except uh, to start the awakening quest when you have completed all the quest, uh, uh, quests the awakening tab from the skill window will be uh, activated and you'll be able to use a new powerful skill. I right, start the quest. Right. This is a pretty long uh, quest. The waking one is pretty long because I had to do it for my uh, main character as well. Is this really misland? It's so different from what I imagined. Your shop? Trade? Make a deal? Hello there. I'm Richard Fargo. Blah 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 blah. Cat grass grows. Cat grass. Oh, Robot GZ, you're finally here. Huh? It's like you've been expecting me. Of course, I was waiting for you. Actually, Fargo twitches his whiskers and signals you to come closer. Fargo anxiously, pick, uh, anxiously pricks up his ears. Now. Yeah. I'm a merchant, not a spy, but there's someone who's been wanting to meet you, right, Cheesy? Who? Well, it's hard for me to tell you here, but he said it's regarding something very, very important. I think you should go and meet him yourself, right, Cheesy? Something feels fishy. He's not a dangerous person. Why don't you go and meet him for my sake? I've been training with him for a long time, so I can vouch for him. Far Fargo smells confidently, since he says so. Come again, and bring more money. Oh, clear wasteland. Oh, I thought I was going to talk to a person. Okay. Oops. 
Turn up that. With cold eyes, dressed in a strange costume, is staring at me. Closer, I can feel an energy that doesn't belong to this world. Are you Robot Easy? The elf brightens up and bows politely. Healer from Legendia. It is an honor for a lovely fallen fruit elf like me to meet you. How do you know about me? Please don't be alarmed. I belong to the ancient uh, anti-goddess faction as well. I heard that uh, I heard about you by chance and begged you to see you. Please forgive me for making you come all the way here. You're with the anti-goddess faction too? That's unbelievable. I know you must be on guard since someone you never met before suddenly appears and introduces himself as a member of the anti-goddess faction. But I had to meet you despite knowing it would be rude. Why do you want to see me? There's something I wanted to give to a suitable person when he or she appeared. Robot GZ, I heard you're strong and you're using your skills to help the anti goddess faction. Uh, if there's a way for you to become stronger, what will you do? I can awaken the power inside you and teach you how to use new skills and power. This is something that I'm doing on my own. It has nothing to do with the anti-goddess faction, so I'm the only one who knows how to awaken your power. Robot Easy, if you're interested, I can teach you how. Why don't you use it yourself? Why teach me? I'm but a lowly, lowly fallen fruit elf. Uh, my original strength is weak, so even if I awaken the power inside me, I won't become much stronger. 
I tried using it a long time ago when I was about to die after falling from the tree. But all it did was to barely keep me alive. But for you, Robot GZ, I'm sure a strong hero like you from Legendia can become much more powerful through awakening. Why should I trust you? I can't convince you right now, but I hope you know one thing. I want Mintsland to fall. I, I can't make that happen on my own. So I'm helping the anti-goddess faction, and you, Robot GZ. My name is Ark. It's like any anime series. A Ark. A Ark, yes. A Ark, yes. That's my name. <laughs> if you're interested in waking the power in you, please come and find me. By the way, Ark takes it. A bundle wrapped in cloth and take the gift it to you. <gasps> Could this be what it is? <laughs> Pardon me, oh, it's not. But can you give this to Mercus Merchant Fargo? If you decide to, if you decide to see me, you can ask Fargo where about where you can find me. I should go back to Merca first and think about it. The little bird on Art Staff chirps quietly. Chirp! <laughs> I hope you accept my suggestion. You can contact me through Richard Fargo's and Mirka's heart.
to shop, trade, make a deal? You're back. They are... The smell. This it's fresh as wild catnip. So you bet him. Fargo twitches his nose with joy. Yeah, but... Fargo looks at you while smelling the catnip. That elf called Art, can he be trusted? Hmm. As I told you before, I can vouch for him. But I guess you want more details than that, isn't it? Right, I still don't have an idea what kind of person he is. Then I'll give you more information about him. By right, I would ask for something in return, but I received something in advance, so Fargo keeps the cabinet safe, safely in his pocket. Ark has been in Ruka's heart for a long time. He was one of the elves who managed the, the, sword, the sword zone more than 200 years ago. I don't know what happened, but one day he suddenly left the other elves and joined the anti goddess faction. It is an exceptional case for an elf who is not even a resident of Merka to join the anti-goddess faction. Elves never disobey the gods. Are all elves here like that? Of course. They never leave the area they are assigned to, since they see it as their fate assigned by the gods. There are rare cases that make them leave, like receiving special missions from the gods. For example, uh, escorting the next oracle to be to the Empire for such missions. The elves will leave their assigned area to embark on a journey to the Empire as holy soldiers or as stormtroopers. <laughs> so that's obeying the gods too. Come again and bring more money. Uh, Do shop, what? trade, make a deal? That's right, so Ark seems unique and special to me. Uh, he seems more like a human than an elf. What could have made him like that? Could there be a special reason? Probably. I think it was pretty recent that he started talking about the anti goddess faction. Merchant April probably knows more about him than me. Please ask her Merchant April about him. She'll tell you something useful. Come again and bring more money. My dream is to become a soldier, a scholar of, of folk course. I still work hard to fulfill my dreams, even as a merchant. Noisy hounds. I wonder if they were. Fascinated fasc for rabies. Welcome. Is there anything what you're looking for? Ask her about Ark. On the elf with a scar. Oh, the elf with the scar on one eye? Why ask about him all of a sudden? Oh, I think I know why. Did he approach you talking about the anti guys faction too? How did you know? He comes to buy stuff sometimes and bothers me with a lot of questions. Not only me, but everyone else too. He looks around asking strange questions and keeps wanting to meet Vernica. He's dark and suspicious. All elves are puppets of the goddess. I hope he doesn't harm anyone. Or is he trying to... T Take someone again. Take someone. Oh, you probably don't know about it. Long ago, the elves from the Sword Zone took a girl to Holy Edder Empire. Oh, Granny S Sarah knows about it better than I do. That girl was her apprentice. Granny Sarah can probably tell you more about it. Go and ask her. Alright, that 
this year. Sure are a lot of customers today. Sweetie, what brings you here? Sweet child, do you have something to tell me? Hello, child, you have lovely eyes. Explain what's going on. I never thought I would hear her name from another person. Especially from such a familiar looking type of child. P Pitya was like a disciple to me. She was a bright and kind hearted girl. But one day she was chosen as an oracle candidate. An oracle candidate? That's right. The high priestess of a holy Edward empire. And a vessel of God's vessel. But this story is too long so I'll tell you about it another time. For now, I'll tell you what you want to know first. It was an ordinary day just like any other day. I was tidying up the goods with her and the elves from the sword zone uh, Sonia appeared. They sat her away like they were taking a prisoner. Both her and uh, her, her fiancé and I couldn't do anything. Was there an elf with a scar on one eye too? Elf was a scar. Oh, I think I remember him. It's hard to forget such a big scar. Come to think of it, that elf, right? He acted rather strangely. Strangely. Elves normally act as, as if they don't have emotions. They are puppets of the goddess who only follow her orders. However, that elf let go of Pitya's arm. When she cried and tried to escape, and he seemed shocked and in pain. He seemed to have a sad history. He didn't know what to do for a while and quickly followed the other elves who took Pitya. And he came back to America after that, but he never comes this way. I have a feeling he is trying to avoid me. That's all I can tell you. Did I answer your question enough? Yes, it was helpful. If you want more information about that elf, why don't you go to a broken goldstone canyon? I saw him heading that way several times. Maybe you can find some clues about him there. Broken goldstone canyon is a dangerous place, so be careful. Oh, hey, don't you want to buy more? I forgot to look at the new, that new title I got. going to be it for now so to the next time to during us sorceress gameplay part uh 76 this is robot easy sign up wait 